And do you have places already? Yes, a list of referral places that oh, they really? can check out. Yep. Social work has its challenges, but it's how Jenny Dang got there that is truly amazing. Jenny moved to Arizona when he was just 16, on his own, and didn't speak a lick of English. I never heard about America until I get to probably come to, to the city when we were flying over to come to the, to the Western world. Jenny lived in a small town in South Sudan until a civil war broke out and took everything from him. His family, his home, all were gone, and he was forced to walk 2,000 miles to safety. Jenny was just seven years old and became one of the lost boys of Sudan. So when the first fire started in our village, we just decided, we not, I'm not going to go back there because it's a danger. So we just started walking, no knowing where we were going. Six months later on to the year, we are in the wilderness of Africa, just walking. To, there's no campus, no map. A war broke out again. And Jenny had to travel another 2,000 miles to find safety in Kenya. It was there he got the offer of a lifetime to move to the United States and live with the foster family. I remember getting to the airplane first. I thought, my, uh, I'm like, how this big thing is going to take us to the air to take me somewhere that I don't even know. At first, my nightmare was we're just going to fall and die. You know, that was literally the technology. The first time I stepped in the airplane thinking it's not going to cross. He ended up at Shadow Mountain High School as a freshman and everything was so different. He had never witnessed running water, a restroom, or even used a light switch. It's like coming from a stone age and then dropping you to the modern civilization. And with all the hard work, he made Arizona his home. Went on to get his degree in social work at ASU. He now helps senior patients with the Foundation for Senior Living. And his drive to get there is incredible. I think his experience in life really drives where he is today. Part of it, I always said, you know, someday if I get to go somewhere in the world, and I'd be safe and all this stuff. So I want to give back to people because somebody did that to me when I was running for my life. Paul Horton, Arizona's family.